so dear students today i'm going to explain the business statistics to the complete business statistics to subjects uh, related videos i'm going to upload so please subscribe my channel on computer education so i'm going to explain the concepts whatever i'm explaining in my channel so that uh, those questions i'm also explaining in hindi and telugu and uh, so total five units are there in business statistics and uh, unit one is regression analysis or regression equations so what are the questions i'm giving just practice these questions you can do any problem in that much of guarantee i can give you so what are the models so i am going to create some models so try to practice or try to concentrate on those models so please subscribe my channel anu computer education so please uh, uh, keep the pen and paper with you and calculator so along with me you need to solve the problem so you will be getting the clarity what i am doing so the first video uh, is business statistics so the next uh, class uh, next all subjects uh, videos are already uploaded so can make use of those videos so the today just i am explaining the first question of business statistics so now the model number 1 question i am going to explain today so why i am saying model because what are the models i created just if you practice this model so you can do any problem so like i created 3 to 4 models in regression analysis to understand the question so that okay so what is asking for the following data after the two regression equations and calculate the correlation coefficient and calculate the y value when x equal to 6.2 so total we have to do three things in this question so one we have to find out the regression equations x on y and y on x after calculating the regression equations so next step we we need to find out what correlation coefficient r we have to find out okay so now again we have to calculate the when the x equal to 6.2 what is the value of y so listen carefully so everything i'm going to explain in detail so no need to worry so just i'm taking the pen option now so now i'm going to write the solution so please uh, understand what i'm explaining first what we need to write here what is asking regression equation so regression equations i'm going to do now you write here we know that we know that okay so what is the regression equation so we know that regression regression equation regression equation of x on y is this is x on y okay this is x on y is you know form formula x minus x bar is equal to b x y into y minus y bar so this is a regression equation you need to remember so so what is b uh, b x y this x bar you know so you write here where x bar is nothing but mean of x values so that can be evaluated like this summation x by n so you know what is n n means number of observations which are given in the problem so count it now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so n is nothing but 9 okay now y bar is nothing but sum of all the y values divided by number of values okay so this we need to do it now so next what is b x y so the terminology you need to understand what is b x y so b x y can be calculated in many ways so here i'm going to use the formula so this is also called as regression coefficient regression coefficient of x on y okay b x y is also called as what is this this is also called as regression so remember the terms here regression coefficient regression coefficient of x on y so then the regression coefficient of x on y under okay then the formula is so what is that formula n into summation dx into summation uh, so dy minus summation dx into summation dy okay and whole divided by so i will tell you the logic how to remember id ella gurtu pettukola nenu logic cheptanu observe cheyandi so now n into summation dy square minus summation dy whole square so remember what we written here b x y you written na so x should be coming in numerator and the y should come in denominator remember da so that is the reason x so 
n into dx into dy. So this is different and this is different. This is different and this is different. This is dx and dy both we have to multiply. After that we have to do the sum of this column. So here individual dx total and individual dy total we have to do and that totals you have to write and after that we have to multiply. So dy square nothing but so this is the formula you need to remember. So whenever you are writing the formula just make the formula in one boxes. So these are the things you need to follow while writing the problem. So this is a regression equation of x and y and this also you make it in one box. Okay. So the presentation is very very important in exam. So this is bxy is nothing but a regression coefficient. No need to write, just to remember the term. Okay, B regression coefficient is nothing but regression coefficient of x on y. So y on x is also there. That will be coming in the next equation. Okay. So note it down. These all formulas. So now next, as per the formula, what are the things which are given? So everything we have to evaluate it. Okay. So the next, I am going to the next slide. So here I am going to draw one table. So in this table, what are the values which is which are asking that everything I am going to get. Calculate. So what is given? X values are given and Y values are given. So tell me the values of X. 2, next 4, 6, 8, okay, 10, 12, 14, 16 and 18. So no need to go into any tuition or anything. So just watch my videos and you can learn the complete subject I am saying. So no need to go to any tuition or anything. So just by sitting at home you can learn everything now. Okay, in the good channel, it's coach Mutham. So 16, next to 20, 24, okay, next to 22, and next one is 26, and the next one is 28, and next one is 32, and the next to 30. So these are the values which are given in the problem. This question is not values, name is So question is not values, as it is the answer. So the question is not values, as it is the answer. Okay, I return only the values which are given in the problem. So just I am making the table. So please understand my handwriting may not be good, just understand so okay now as per the formula you know just now we did written a dx so just I said before you copy the formula so copy formula is uh, should be uh, kept in front of you so by seeing the formula I am doing everything now as per the formula what is required dx is required so how to calculate dx so come to the before slide so now you will get, get a doubt here sir in question they are given in question they are given x and y so but one formula you written dx and dy so you need to write here one important thing here where dx can be calculated by using x minus a and dy can be calculated by using y minus a sir what is a a is nothing but assumed value assumed value so i am going to assume one value so what is that assumed value that i am going to show you in my next slide so when i am going to the next slide so here what i will do what is what i need to write here so here I will write x minus a. So what is the next column I am going to do now? What I am going to do in the next column? dy is equal to y minus a. So these are the two columns I need to calculate. So what how I am going to calculate the dx and dy? I am going to explain. So so given number of given problem, how many number of observations are given? Nine. Okay. Take count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine are given. So you take any middle number middle number so okay middle number or even number of values are given madhyalo even number ichinappudu madhyalo a rendu first one and second one this coach. Lay that odd number of values ichinappudu madhyalo edaithe number undo dani matram manam a ani iskovali so now i am selecting this as a so you can take any value actually meer edi iskona ostadi kani better to take the middle value so you will get a perfect answer so the calculation part will become little bit easier so that is the reason i have selected the middle value so you got a clarity now how to choose this a from dx and uh, x and y so if you count the number of observations if the number of observations are odd you select the middle one if the number of observations are even you select any middle to any number you can select it okay that means uh, suppose 10 number of observations are, are there so you can select 5 or 6 it is yours choice okay so now what i will do now so what is the formula written dx is equal to x minus a written so x minus a x means what this value 2 minus 10 so how much you will get here minus 8 okay so next to 4 minus 10 so you will get here minus 6 next to 6 minus 10 you will get minus sorry minus 4 next to 8 minus 10 so you will get here minus 2 so you will get here 0 and here you will get test 2 so directly I am going now uh, because 12 
12 minus 12 minus 10 is equal to plus 2 and next to 14 minus 10 is equal to 4 next to 16 minus uh, 10 is equal to 6 so you remember whatever the values you are getting positive values or negative values are you need to observe it and write it so if you do at least one mistake if negative or positive you write the whole answer will become wrong if you chase it up with jala jaga taka jayali negative was in the positive was in the correct choose koni try and it next day you get a 18 loan unchi 18 minus 10 so you'll get answer 8 so you got to clarity know how to calculate the dx so now after calculating the dx so do the total of dx column so why because dx total is important so once you add this dx total so minus 8 plus 8 minus 6 plus 6 plus 4 so everything is becoming cancelled so answer is 0 for dx column so similarly we need to calculate the mean also now mean would have calculated jail gather mean cover and summation x cover it summation y total also be required so do the total of both the concepts round it total this now don't know cut total color so now if I do the total you'll get a 90 for this value if I if you do the total for this column you'll get a 216 so so I am doing simultaneously with my calculator so these are the values which we are getting so similarly we need to find out the value of d y minus a so 18 minus 24 so here 18 minus now directly I am writing here 18 minus 24 is nothing but here minus 4 you will get and next to 16 minus uh, 16 minus uh, uh, 16 minus daddy daddy is on target daddy Daddy, sound target. So now the next value will be minus 4, minus 6, minus 2, and uh, 0. So what I am doing? Uh, 24 minus 22. Okay, sorry. Uh, what I need to do? Yes, 18 minus uh, 18 minus uh, 22 is nothing but minus 4, and 16. This will become minus 6 and 20 this will become minus 2 and this will become plus 2 this will become plus 2 and this is 0 and 24 6 minus 22 is nothing but plus 4 and 28 minus 22 is nothing but 6 plus 6 you'll get and 32 minus this one you will get plus 10 you'll get and 30 minus 22 is nothing but you'll get plus 8 so do do the total of uh, dy so what is the total of dy you are getting here so you may get uh, what is the total just do the total now you'll get answer 18 so these are the things you are getting so now ask for the formula what is required dx into dy we have to do so both the columns whatever you did now that we have to multiply dx and individual dx and dy is another that both we have to multiply so it means what minus into minus plus uh, 8 4 ja 32 okay next to 6 6 ja 36 minus into minus plus 36 this is plus 36 because here minus sign is there okay minus into minus plus 4 to ja 8 and 2 to ja 4 but minus is there so minus 4 you write here and uh, here answer 0 into 0 0 and 2 into 4 8 and 6 4 ja 24 and uh, 6 uh, 10 ja 60 and the next 8 8 ja 64 so all these values are written now do the total of uh, dx dy okay so now dx dy total if you do you will get an uh, answer so just to do the total, I am also doing the total with my calculator. So please you also do the total, same thing. 228 you are getting. So I am getting here 220, 228. Okay. So this is the total I am getting. So similarly what you need to do, do the as per formula, what is it? Because we have to calculate both the regression equations now. So we need dx square is also required. Okay. And dy square is also required. So both, because I am going to calculate the both the regression equations, so we have to calculate both the columns now. So this is the final table. So dx square means, what are the values we are getting here? Here, here. So they have to do the square. 8 square. 8 square means negative will become positive. When you do the square, square ni neg uh, uh, negative value ni square, square yes na put me answer positive. So 8 square is nothing but 64. And 6 square is nothing but how much? 36. And 4 square is nothing but 16 and 2 square is nothing but 4 and 0 square is nothing but 0 and 2 2 square is nothing but 4 and 4 square is nothing but 16 and 6 square is nothing but uh, 36 and 8 square is nothing but 64 okay so after writing all these values and do the total of dx square also so now if you do the total for dx square uh, you'll get 240 you'll get this answer so similarly you do that square for dy square 4 square 16 
6 square 36 so i am doing 2 square 4 negative so you know when you do when you do the square square relation square ni negative number ni square chesina put positive ayipothadi 2 square 4 0 square 0 and 4 square 16 and 6 square 6 square 36 and 10 square 100 and 8 square 64 so do the total of dy square total so once you do the total of dy square so dy square 276 so just i'm giving one one 10 seconds time please note down all the summation x total and summation y total summation dx square total and everything you note it now okay so after that i'll go to the next slide so these are the values you need to copy so once you copy these values so these values we have to replace in the formula so what is the formula okay what is the formula we have to take here so what is the formula okay b x y is equal to what is the formula I written there n into summation d x d y minus summation d x into summation d y divided by n into summation d x sorry d y square minus n uh, this is summation d y whole square this is different and this is this is d y square answer this is d y after doing the total of dy then we have to do the square idi rendu different ma idi dy ni square chesina kochina answer idi idi dy mottham total chesina kochina answer ki square jal so this is what they need to remember so n is nothing but what so total how many observations are given in the problem nine observations are given so we have to write here n is nothing but number of observations here i am writing n is equal to number of observations it means how many values which are given in the problem that we have to right so n is nothing but sorry 9 na how many values are given n 9 count it 9 so summation dx dy total so already i did the total so you are getting 228 okay 228 this is minus dx total i am getting 0 and dy total so just i noted all those values so that is written by writing these values so after copying these values okay so 9 into dy square dy square total dy square total i am getting 276 okay next uh, dy is nothing but 18 square so after do that 9 into 228 you multiply take the calculator and do this value you will get 2052 minus 0 into 18 0 so any number if you multiply it with 0 you will get answer 0 next 9 into 276 9 into 276 if you do 2484 okay minus 18 square 18 square is nothing but 324 324 so after that you'll get here 2052 2052 divided by if you subtract this value you'll get double uh, 2160 you'll get okay so if you divide you'll get this value 0 0.95 so this is the answer so therefore you write here b x y the regression coefficient of x and y is 0.95 so this is a your answer you are getting please copy these values okay just copy note it down all these values so next we have to calculate the x bar and y bar so after that you will get the equation regulation equation of x on y okay so please note it down these values so next i am going to the uh, how to find out the summation mean values okay now so what i will do x bar is equal to summation x by n summation x total summation x total i am getting what what is the total i am getting 90 90 divided by 9 so you will get a answer 10 so similarly y bar you will get y bar total i am getting as 216 divided by 9 so this you will get as 24 so x bar total you are having and y bar total you are having so what do we need to do now so we need to do what substitute these values in the regression equation the regression regression okay equation the regression equation of x on y is you know what is the formula x minus x bar into b x y into y minus y bar so this is a formula already written so no need to write the one more time formula because that that is in another side because of that i written the formula one more time here no exam mali mali x minus x bar 10 next is equal to bxy total how much you are getting before just now we divided now 0 0.95 this is a value 0 0.9 next y minus y bar is nothing but 24 so here 
this is 10 and this is 24 that I replaced here so x minus 10 is equal to so this keep the keep it in the bracket so now you know it is like a into b minus c a into b minus c so when you are having like this what you will do a into b a into b and plus into minus minus and you will write a into c so that i need to apply here because 0 0.59 into y so you will get 0 0.95 y plus into minus minus 0 0.95 into uh, this one 0 0.95 into 24 so that i need to do i return the formula y how i did this calculation so after that 0 0.95 y okay minus uh, this uh, 0 0.95 into uh, this uh, if you multiply this value okay how much you will get so just to do, do the total now 0 0.95 this uh, how much you will get here this is 22 point this is 22 point 8 you will get 22 point 8 so this side what you value here okay now move the 10 value from here to here now it will become x is equal to 0 0.95 y minus 22.8 is already there so minus 10 when it is come to RHS side it will become plus 10 so you know already LHS value if you are moving to the RHS if it is a positive value if you are moving it will become negative if you are moving the negative value towards right side it will become positive value so you will move just a value negative if now minus 10 is there if I am moving towards right side it will become plus 10 so therefore answer you will get x is equal to 0 0.95 y okay plus sorry minus 10 point h so this is a regression equation of sorry so 10 or 12 now yes it's 12 22.8 minus 10 is 12 so this is a regression equation of x and y answer okay the similarly we need to calculate the regression equation of y on x please uh, note it down these values so the next time go to the concept of regression equation of y on x so first again i'm writing so please watch this video and you can learn the concept so regression regression equation regression equation of y on x i'm doing now before one i did x on y y on x is what is the formula so you know when i'm writing y first y minus pi bar you have tried okay so x if you are writing second that should be go to the rhs side so b y x we have right b y x before one is b x y because if the x first comes now then b x y will come if y will first comes then you write b y x so next you write x minus x bar so this is the thing you need to remember so you know already what is uh, what is uh, b y x b y x is nothing but regression so just remember no need to write in exam so i am giving regression coefficient so because in question they will give you sometimes this words so that is the reason i am giving these things question lo course regression coefficients under adu enna anedi meeku munde clarity ichestunnanu okay byx is equal to regression coefficient under the okay coefficient of which one y on x so this is remember that is before one is x on y okay so x bar and y bar already you calculated no need to do anything just you replace those values but only what we have to do now so you have to write only how to calculate b y x b y x formula we need to write so before you return the same formula you copy it now d x and d y minus uh, summation d x into summation d y so numerator is common for x on y and y on x the denominator will come because it's the second denominator x is coming in the denominator so you write here n into summation d x square minus summation d x whole square so sir why you are writing d x in the before formula is y on x x on y now it is y on x so whichever the letter will come come second that should be goes to the denominator okay now no need to calculate the all the values so already we, we have calculated these values so i am replacing all those values from the table y x is equal to so n is nothing but 9 so dx dy total already we have did, did for the before problem 2 to d8 minus dx answer you are getting what 0 and dy answer you are getting 18 and the next one is uh, 9 into so dx this you are getting 240 okay this is this 240 you are getting and uh, minus okay dx square dx square is nothing but 0 square so if you divide 9 into 228 9 into 228 if you, if you do you get 2052 20 sorry 2052 divided by 
2052 this is 2052 divided by and if you subtract 9 into this one minus 0 minus 0 because 0 into 18 is 0 next to 9 into 240 if you multiply you will get 2160 minus 0 so you know already so you will get 2052 okay divided by 2160 okay now if you divide these two numbers here also are getting 0 0.95 sometimes so don't think that sir byx and byxy so both in this problem both are getting same value sometimes both will get different different values so don't think that uh, first than ke byxy ke ochina value second than ko raavali ani kaadu ichina question ni batti depend untadi okay intak mundu daniki same ochindi ippudu intak mundu ani kuda 0 0.95 ippudu malli uh, 0 0.95 so both the equations are getting the same value okay regression coefficients okay so it is it may not be same for all the problem okay so after getting all these values we have to substitute these values in the formula so y minus y bar so you know y minus y bar just know what what we did y minus y bar is 24 is equal to 0 0.95 okay i am replacing all these values in this formula so next x minus x bar x bar just now we calculate x bar now 10 so now you multiply 0 0.95 you know already i said a into b so this into this we have to multiply a into x minus plus into minus minus 0 0.95 0 0.95 into 10 so it will become 0 0.95 x 95 x minus this will become 9.5 9.5 so this side you are having y minus 24 so now what you will need to do now y is equal to, if, if i move this 24 to this side it will become plus 24 so 0 0.95 x minus 9.5 so the minus 24 if it is coming into here it will become plus 24 so therefore y is equal to 0 0.95 okay x now it will become plus value you will get here you will get 14 point okay 14 points uh, sorry this is 9.5 so 14.5 answer is 14.5 so this is your answer which, which equation this is regression equation of so wherever you return the formulas you make it in one box so this all this is also a formula and we make it this formula is also in the box so this is your final answer so this is which equation regression equation of y on x so before one you did x on y now you did y on x so once after doing this problem so in the next coming to the question now just once come to the question so what is given in the question from the following data obtain two regression equations yes we did x on y equation and y on x on. okay after that what we have to do now calculate the correlation coefficient calculate correlation coefficient so this is one more formula you need to remember so after this i need to write down the formula so what is asking okay so that we have to write so so what we have whatever right here we know that we know that okay what is the formula correlation core what is asking the question correlation coefficient or coefficient of correlation also can say both are same this can be represented with a letter r so to calculate this you need to have a formula if you calculate jenny ke meko formula on the bxy into byx so multiply so these are here you need to follow the two things now listen if bxy and b y x if both are positive if it is positive and if it is also positive if both are positive then r also positive okay so remember these points while doing the problem next if b x y is negative and b y x is also negative then r is also negative sir if i am getting b x y is positive and b y x is negative so so this cannot be happened so this wrong so if the both the regression coefficients which sign are which sign is there the r should contain same sign if if two regression equations you are getting two different signs so then we cannot decide the sign of r so this is the important point to remember gurtu nikada rendu regression coefficient ki sambandhinchina sign anedi chaala important rendu positive vaste r kuda positive rayali so okay no this this is okay r positive if both are negative so r also negative but if one is positive one is wrong that is wrong okay so now just now we calculated here so what i written here bxy total you are getting 0 0.95 okay and into this also are getting 0 0.95 i said before only 
so sometimes both may same sometimes some sometimes both may not be same so it depending upon the problem so what you will get here 0.95 into 0.95 idu gurtu ettukona malla need ki rendu ki same raavu ee problem ki rendu same vachina kabatti is ayipindi 0.95 square and root get cancel meeku idi if it is not cancel what you have to do you have to multiply both the values and after that apply the root so you will get a final answer so therefore this is regression coefficient of r so this is very very important so now comes to the question again so total three things is asking in the question so already we did two things so two regression equations we have already done and the next again is now correlation coefficient r so next one important question is given what is the value of y when x equal to 6.2 it is very very important question i am saying in your final exam definitely will get this question in for 12, 12 marks okay so now next two. next i am explaining next uh, y when a y y so go to the slide so what is asking so remember now what is asking when x is equal to 6.2 and uh, okay y is equal to how much so this is a e statement adutun question lo see x value 6.2 aina bodu y value enta ana adutun so samanya ana so x value 6.2 diyo to y value how much so that we have to calculate now you tell me so to find out the value of y so which equation we have to use you know two equations are there one is x on y equation is there and y on x is equal to z now you tell me which value you know and which value we can find so that is very very important you know the value of x but you don't know value of y so we need to use this equation because we so x value is known y here we are determining so they will give you y they will give you y they will give you y value then what is asking x value then in that case we have to use this equation so you got a clarity now so which equation we have to use here y on x because y value we are finding using x value so that is what we need to understand y value we are finding by using x value x value we are finding by using y value so that case so in the given problem y value is given a x value is given a that you need to determine so after determining this you do the problem so now i will write y on x equation so why i am writing y on x so before i did equation i am writing y is equal to 0.95 x okay plus 14 point okay 14 point how much you are getting here 14 point 5 this is a value i am getting so i am substituting the values now 0.95 0.95 in into into in place of x what and replace and replace the value of 6.2 plus 14.5 so this will become 0.95 into 0.95 into 14.6 how much you'll get 0.95 into 14.6 how much so you do the calculation now you'll get 5.89 you'll get this is 5.89 plus 14.5 so y so y is equal to y is equal to if you add both the values you'll get 20.39 so it means when the value of x equal to 6.2 the value of y will become y will become 20.39 so this is the problem so with this we completed the problem please subscribe my channel anu computer education so the next time i'm going to explain in the next video i'm going to explain the next model so that is model 2 problem i've explained so what are the model so no need to do the 10 problems do less problems and understand the complete concept so that is my main intention of my youtube channel anu computer education okay so the next video will be model 2